Day after Brian's death, the Sixers are back on the practice court and we'll be speaking with the media shortly. Our Dan Koob is live at the Sixers complex in Camden with what we can expect there. Dan. Janelle, I expect it to be pretty somber. General Manager Elton Brand will address the media a little after 1 o'clock. You can see that on CBSFilly.com. We'll send that to you live. But there are a lot of lines you can draw from Kobe Bryant to several members of this team. Uh, assistant coach Roy Hibbert played, started alongside Kobe Bryant in 2016, his final season. Raul Neto, a backup point guard, guarded Kobe in his final game in which Kobe took 50 shots, had 60 points. Brett Brown, an assistant for a long time, the head coach of this team, but an assistant with the San Antonio Antonio Spurs played numerous playoff matchups between San Antonio and Kobe's LA Lakers. Uh, think about this. This is uh, hard to take. A lot of these players on the team, 24 to 27 years old. Ben Simmons, born in June of 1996, the same summer that Kobe Bryant was drafted in. Most of his entire life, Ben Simmons, his life has corresponded with Kobe Bryant's playing career. Same with Tobias Harris, most of Joel Embiid's life. He tweeted earlier uh, this week, I should say yesterday, that he only started playing basketball, Joel Embiid did, because of watching Kobe Bryant in the NBA Finals in 2010. I expect it to be very raw. I expect it to be a very emotional response. The first time we'll be able to hear from some of the key members of the Sixers franchise. And like I said, Elton Brand's comments a little after 1 o'clock. We'll bring those to you live on CBSPhilly.com. For now, live outside the Sixers practice facility, Dan Koob, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Dan, thanks very much.